as far as how they record their stuff. So it was good to hear. So uh, next Friday at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern and 7 p.m. PDT, I'll be talking to none other than Jill and Richard from Meter Bridge for an interview. So I am looking really forward to that. And obviously we've had them on the show once. So I'm I'm just waiting for that energy just going to kind of come like <laughs> full circle. <laughs> That's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, really good chance to see what uh, what uh, Jill and Richard have to say. And I'm very excited about that. And then following that on uh, December 10th will be at Million Manders. And that will be at 7 p.m. Uh, in the UK and 2 p.m. Eastern. And that would be 11 o'clock PDT. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm, I'm usually pretty good with this. I mean, I've been doing this long enough that I'm good with all different time zones, but sometimes you got to think about it for a second. So. No, your math is spot on. Because <laughs> for, for the most part, they're either five to six hours ahead or they're three hours behind, maybe an hour behind, maybe two hours behind. And then I got to re remember my brother's in China who's 13 hours ahead. <laughs> so oh, wow. so I, I've got a bunch of different time zones kind of kind of swirling around at all times, right? <laughs> So next up, um, we're gonna get to some uh, we'll call it a little bit heavier stuff. Not like kind of not like not thrash metal here, nothing like that. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna get into a band called EB11, and the song's called "All Is Fake." Dig this. And this is off their new album. It's not out yet. We'll be out very very soon. <laughs>
Now that was a rockin' two. That was EB11, and it was all is fake. And that is brand new of an album that'll be coming out in the next few weeks. <clears throat> Excuse me. But what a rockin' tune. I love the vocals and just kind of love the kind of kind of uh, screaming guitar, if you want to put it that way. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was really cool. Like really, uh, really got into this, and I got sent this uh, just a few days ago to do a review on it as well. And uh, very impressed. Uh, EB11. Yeah, that would, that were they're very tight and lots of power. I love what that guitar player was doing. I couldn't quite figure out how he was achieving that, that bend he was doing. It yeah. very cool. Yeah, it was just a great tune all the way. Great drive had some really great clean breaks on it. it just worked really well. It's kind of a straightforward rock tune, but with some different twists to it that was really made it different, and I really liked it. Yeah. You know, and that's right, and that's it's it's very rare that. So you hear like exactly what you said, like a straightforward rock tune that that sound season that to have something a little bit new in it that's not kind of the kind of we'll call it the routine or or uh, general kind of formula for the song. Yeah, exactly. All right. So next up, we're gonna get to a band we haven't heard from in a while, and this song I'm pretty sure you haven't heard yet. This is Pharaohs from the Grave, and the, the song's called Machines. Dig this. <laughs> Grave Machines. You know, that was another rocking tune, and I love his voice. And uh, it's all those things. Would you actually really want to be machine and kind of do the same thing over and over again? I mean, I know, I know, I know we all have our routines, but at least we have the option to change it up. Yeah. Okay. So, but otherwise, a, a good rocking tune. I really like these guys. I do too. Yeah, it's just, again another great rock tune that just it's different enough that surprised you a little bit. Vocals were great, I thought. Yeah, the vocals. He reminded me a little bit of Jack White. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Good point. Yeah, I could hear that. 
You know, and I was uh, I saw um, just a little blurb there day on Jack White just because uh, they're talking about a new Bond movie coming out in 2015, and oh. they were talking about like past people who done the who done the Bond songs, and there's the one song, uh, I think it was uh, not Casino Royale, but uh, it might have been Casino Royale where it was uh, uh, Jack White and Alicia Keys. Oh. And they did a song for it, and they're trying to decide. And no, the thing that uh, that really gets me, um, and I heard this recently, is the last Bond movie. Uh, obviously, they're even though uh, Daniel Craig is a great Bond, they're looking to get someone a little bit younger to kind of replace him. That's why they have the new kind of Q. I think his name is R now. Oh. And uh, they asked because uh, the movie's called Skyfall, and uh, um, oh, I can't believe I'm forgetting her name. Uh, the British uh, singer, uh, she did uh, the she did song for Skyfall. Oh my God, I can't remember her name. I Adele. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh wow. I, I I was feeling like such an idiot there for a second, it's like because like Amelia Adele is is a guilty pleasure. Let me tell you. <laughs> and uh, so they they asked her. They said, "Well, would you want to do the the next bomb movie and and do the soundtrack for?" It? And she turned it down. I was like. You turn it down. Why? Like, it's like, it's, like Skyfall is such a great tune. Like, why? Because she has like that that classic kind of like uh, kind of fifties voice, you know. And yeah. and I thought that'd be fantastic because she sounded like some of the old uh, some of the old uh, tunes uh, uh, from the old Bond movies, like like uh, like uh, was it uh, Goldfinger and stuff like that, you know. <laughs> And uh, I was like, well, that kind of sucks. But like, I, I can understand in some cases why she turned down. I was like, oh, why did you do that? I was like, I wanted to hear another one, I, another Bond tune by you because the Skyfall was awesome. And so, so all right, I'll, uh, I'll stop sidetracking for now. <laughs> and, uh, it's always an interesting journey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I surprise myself and not, not necessarily in a good way. <laughs> so next up, we're going to get to a new one by Polaris Rose. And this one is called Radio XYZ and Radio XYZ for my North American friends. <laughs> <laughs> so dig this. This is Polaris Rose. I'm sorry. 